something I've always wanted to do in stand-up comedy was be that guy with the acoustic guitar who just strums along while he tells his jokes. He's not singing, he's just talking, but it melts. You know what I mean? Have you ever seen that guy? And I love it. So tonight, I brought my guitar. You guys bring it up. You want to hear some acoustic guitar? <laughs> what? <laughs> I do have a ukulele though, so we're going to bring out the ukulele. Woo! I actually love that too. This guy likes it. <laughs> Tweeting, if you don't have followers, is the high tech equivalent of the crazy person who talks to himself in public. <laughs> Being inclusive is a lot different than political correctness, which has this horrible rap, right? Everyone's like, ah, political correctness, so PC. Ah. You guys heard those people? They got like congestion issues? <laughs> what they're really saying when they say that is, ah, I miss the days when I could be racist. Ah. I need some music next. Ah. Moving on, I lived in Chicago for a few years and I was first born. My first few years of my life. I had an amazing best friend, an imaginary friend who was amazing, his name was Scott. I loved him to death. I didn't find out until just a couple of years ago, some 20 years later, that Scott wasn't imaginary at all. He was in fact a real boy on my street. Strong, strong. <laughs> yes. um, which was amazing to me when my sister told me this, but when she went on to say, but Sandy, you just imagined you were friends. <laughs> So it's almost winter, and I'm kind of bummed that I haven't been able to wear all the halter tops I bought this summer. <laughs> so laugh all you want, but I've got beautiful shoulders. If you ever get a rando Facebook friend request, and the profile pic has two people in it, and you're wondering, is it the cute one? It's never the cute one. <laughs> we moved to Michigan City, which is located in Indiana, not Michigan, which is what you would probably assume. The reason it's called Michigan City is because Michigan can't keep its greedy hand off of anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. They brought the Upper Peninsula, Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Rightfully, that belongs to Upper Wisconsin. We can not Upper Michigan. <laughs> but Michigan reached up there, snatched it away, and never gave it back, and Upper Wisconsin didn't put up a fight because they were too busy watching hockey and pretending to be part of Canada. <laughs> I was at a conference over the weekend in St. Louis, and I found out that even when wearing name tags, it's not appropriate to call strangers by their first name while they're peeing. Yeah, like the, the whole rule, don't talk to me while I'm touching me, apparently applies even with name tags. Uh, public restrooms. Public restrooms, also a bad place to offer free hugs. Especially if you're like, hey, Tommy. <laughs> that was really chubby. Like, really chubby. If you looked at me from the side, I looked a lot like an uppercase L. <laughs> but it just consumed M, N, O, and P. <laughs> and I was still nibbling on Q. <laughs> like, there's vegetarians who eat vegetables, that makes sense. But then there's like ova vegetarians who eat vegetables. Just vegetables, but then eggs too, because those are like vegetables, only in egg form, I guess. And then, <laughs> and then they justify that, like, yeah, it comes from the chicken, it's not the chicken, it's not the same. Like, it's a baby chicken that you're eating. <laughs> That's worse. If anything, you should be anti oba vegetarian. That's like eating children. <laughs> so, a few years after that, uh, well, I'll just say it. I'll just put it out there. My mom dared me to do a big jump on my rollerblades, and I ripped my nipple off. This one. A few years before that, my mom dared my sister to jump from the swing to the trapeze, and she cracked her skull open. That's not funny. But a few years after that, my mom dared my other sister to do the same jump from the swing to the trapeze. She inverted herself by accident and ripped her puddle open on the Yeah, it's terrible. And my little brother, the reason why I'm telling you this is so you don't worry about it. <laughs> I love it. My brother escaped all of this unscathed with nothing but the psychological trauma <laughs> of watching his mother single handedly attempt to pick off his siblings. <laughs> vegans, we've always had vegans, right? Vegans have been around forever and they're, they're just hungry. I... <laughs> no other way to spin that. 
I've decided it, it's confusing, right? And there are probably more that I didn't just make up right now. And it, it upsets me. So I decided that I'm going to become a vegetarian Ian, and I'm just going to eat vegetarians. <laughs> who's, who's in favor? Yeah. All right. And no eggs, because that's disgusting. <laughs> right. uh, just a few minutes ago, I, I came for the ninth time before the show, and I had an accidental public urination on the stage here. And when I was in the bathroom, someone left a wonderful little gift on the toilet seat. No, it's not gross. It's actually delightful. And, and I mean that with no sarcasm. They, they have left an arrangement of toilet paper, you know what I mean? Like the, the gasket, that protects anyone from... I'm not really sure why people do that, honestly. <laughs> I, I, I really am not. I'm just going to be honest. It's like the flip-flop in the shower thing. What do you think you're protecting your, from, yourself from with that, like, millimeter-thick piece of toilet paper? What? The bacteria and germs and things, whatever. Honestly, for me, and I don't know if this is, I'm just gonna speak for myself, I can't see. The spotlight's too bright. I'm not gonna judge. This is not really stick and span. <laughs> <laughs> Imagination brings a smile up to my lips, oh